How potent is the coronavirus really? The most people who actually did die from the coronavirus was were actually people that have an immunity response, negative immune response, what is called a silicon storm. Like this study of China that actually shows. A silicon storm is basically when your immune system produces an extreme amount of white blood cells and in response of that they create more uh, silicons. It is basically an inflammation like reaction of the immune system. This can be triggered by the, the coronavirus. Also, the amount, the amount of certain kinds of vaccines also can have a negative reaction on the degree that you can get coronavirus. For example, with the flu virus, you can see that the significant amounts of higher chance you can get from using that for a vaccine of to getting coronavirus. Um, and the silicon storm is also triggered by inflammation, like I'd say. So red meat can trigger this as well because red meat is inf causing cause inflammation. It is also one. There's also one form of promoting cancer. You know, cancer. Red meat is a number of things, huh? like smoking cigarettes. Number one person means that they are causing cancer. And just like processed meat, and then you have already most other animals. Products as well in that category. So, any responsible government should actually stop um, animal agriculture already for that reason only. Instead of lying and still recommending the consumption of animals when that is absolutely unnecessary, like vegans like me are the majority of their life, they don't eat nothing, eat animals whatsoever right now I'm now 12 yes. and I stopped consuming animals when I was 12 or 11 somewhere right now, like that so never go fully fully degenerate baby or guy guy so Maybe if we want to learn something about this pandemic and all the, the eco economical problems that it caused for some people, is if we don't want to have pandemics, not having things like the animal agriculture industry creating its bioweapons. Maybe we should not have animal agriculture in the first place. Because those places are breeding ground for diseases. It is like playing Russian roulette. Can it go good? It can go freaking raw. So, ban animal agriculture. Also called the animal holocaust by people I look at things from the animal's perspective. Animal holocaust. Holocaust. The sacrifice of a male animal on the altar of God. There's time, times in the Bible refer to that. As the sacrifice of a male animal on the altar of God. Specifically a herd animal. So, it is time to go peace. Is that? Peace begins on a daily table. By what you eat on a daily basis, people. Not by breeding be all weapons. Not by domesticating animals and turning them into commodities and commodifying their 
diseases and making them far worse and by poisoning your population.